Terry Hart with Entertainment City. When the news came out about a female-led spin-off of the famous Oceans trilogy, the excitement was palpable. Then it was revealed that the heist flick would be packed with famous faces, and anticipation went through the roof. Now it's almost time for Oceans 8, and I caught up with the stars to find out what all that buzz has been like. Three and a half weeks, the Met will be hosting its annual ball, and we are going to rob it. Oh, oh. So I was wondering what question you guys have kind of consistently been asked about this all-female cast that you don't think men would be asked. Almost all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Did you all get along? It seems like you're all friends in real life. What role would you steal from? Why do you need to do this? Because it's what I'm gonna. So many of us. Um, our role models and have a platform that it's nice to talk about a lot of issues of, um, for instance, about having an all-female movie. But it's also just such a funny, fun movie. There's so much about it that uh, I do think that, like, was Carl Reiner asked about this when he was doing press conference for Oceans? <laughs> well, they had this fan screening last night, and we, we, we went along to say hi, and they, they, they it was full of men. Full of men. And, and, and they, they, they were going crazy. You know? They were yeah. screaming. A lot of men like women. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And you know what? A lot of men like women, and a lot of women like women. I know. And I know that's not what we're reading about, but that's what's happening in real life. Ocean's 8 brings the heist to theaters next Friday. Hitting theaters this weekend, First Reformed, a new movie starring Ethan Hawke. You need someone to take care of you. This is the personal journey of a pastor of a small historical church that has no members. And he is undergoing a crisis of faith. And a young couple comes to him, and they are ecology activists. These kids, they want certainty. You know, don't think, follow. They fall prey to extremism. And they propel him into a new definition of, of what he's going through. In case you don't recognize him, that's Paul Schrader, who wrote Taxi Driver and Raging Bull, among many others. He sits in the director's chair for First Reformed, which he's getting a lot of praise for. You know, these spiritual and religious issues, uh, they're not a minority part of human experience. These questions are part of everyone's makeup. First Reformed hits select theaters today and opens across the country throughout this month.